Hello and welcome to a new In The Mail, the series that everybody seems to enjoy, myself included. We have a bunch of items to show, so let's get started, but not before I explain to you what happened uh, during recording this episode. I don't know for what reason, but uh, my uh, iPhone didn't record sound. So I was using the built-in camera app, but uh, uh, when I was finished uh, filming, I realized I don't have audio over my video. So this is the first time it's happening, not sure what's the cause. Uh, and uh, I kept the video, but this will be a voiceover audio recorder uh, later and I will try to match it with the exact video. So it might not end up the same quality you're used to. The first item is this uh, LCD. I haven't tested it yet, but I can show you a picture of how it should look. So you can see it has white on black characters and it's a 16 by 2 character display. Obviously what caught my attention was the white on black uh, characters with no particular project in mind but it looks nice and I wanted to have one. Also it's a bit more compact than your standard 16x2 LCD module. As you can see right here compared with the st standard module it's uh, a bit smaller and this is because it has a chip on glass instead of the PCB module required to hold the uh, driver ICs. Connection is made through this uh, flat flex 12 pin connector. The driver chip is the ST7032 and it should support SPI protocol as well as the parallel interface in 4 or 8 bit mode. There is also another driver chip uh, ST7032i which should also have a nice squared C interface but I'm not sure this one has it. I think it's just the plain one with uh, SPI and parallel interface. This will go into my bag of uh, LCDs awaiting a project to be used in. It seems to be difficult to find the exact same model. I could only find it on AliExpress, so I will post a link to that in the description below. Our next item is hardly an electronics item, but I decided to include it anyway because I got one and I think it's very useful and could be considered useful by many of my viewers. It's a cable clip type organizer. Over the years, I've tried many of these uh, cheap Chinese cable organizers, but they've all failed miserably. I think this one is much better because the way it works. It has this uh, magnetic base, well it's probably a metallic base because the magnet is on the clips. Uh, it has the double sided sticky tape, so you're supposed to stick this to your desk or uh, wherever you want to use it. And then it has these uh, small clips with magnets that attach to your cables and the clips will magnetically stick to the base. A very neat design and I plan to use it bedside to hold the charging cables for my phone and tablet because I always have to reach down to the floor and search the required cable but hopefully no more. This thing costs uh, six dollars on uh, Banggood and you can get it black, red or blue. As you probably noticed it does have kind of a premium look and um, it's not your average cheap plastic product. Our next item is a mini HDMI to full size HDMI cable. You probably already have one of these but I didn't have one. As you remember I showed the Raspberry Pi Zero a while back so I needed one of these cables to connect the module to my monitor. I like these uh, thinner cables. They're presumably lower quality because well they are thinner but I like the fact that you can bend them more easily. They're just nicer to work and I think they'll be just fine for these uh, short distances. This one was about $2 on eBay and was delivered really fast, about 3 weeks, which is uh, unexpected here considering the delays I'm getting with my other orders. Our next item is a 2S lithium battery charging module. It's actually one of the few 2S charging modules that you can find on eBay. I'm not sure what the original intended purpose is. We notice it has these uh, two smaller DC jacks and by the looks of it they're connected in parallel. So it must have been intended to charge something very specific that uses a 2S uh, lithium battery pack and these connectors. It has a 5 volts USB input, so it must have a DC to DC boost converter to reach the 8.4 volts needed for charging a 2S pack. And I'm curious to see what chip they're using to do the charging. And wow, it's an LM358 uh, dual op-amp. It's basically a jelly bean op-amp which is probably used as a comparator in this circuit. I didn't expect that. I was expecting a dedicated 2S charging IC. 
So I guess they're using a boost to raise the voltage up to 8.4 volts and limit the current to 0.5 amps because that is the charging current. And uh, when the voltage of the battery pins reach 8.4 volts, they probably use a MOSFET to cut off the battery from the voltage source. And uh, that's where the comparator is used to compare the, the um, uh, battery voltage with um, uh, a preset uh, threshold. So in this case, you don't get the nice features that dedicated charging ICs have, like uh, protection features, battery conditioning, trickle charging, etc. I was thinking to build a project where I need a 2S battery, so I was looking around to find a 2S charging module. I could roll my own PCB using a charging IC from TI or microchip, but I wanted something that anyone could build with cheap modules from eBay. It seems I can't find any. Do you know of any 2S charging modules available cheaply from China? I know, for example, there is a linear 2S charging IC similar to the uh, TP4056, but I don't have a part number for it. I just know it exists and it's an 8-pin device because I saw it inside the charger for my Baofeng radio, but it has the numbers rubbed off. So that brings me to our next item, which uh, should be a 3S lithium battery charger, if I remember correctly. This one, however, should be mains powered, which is not always an advantage when considering these uh, cheap Chinese products and the shitty power supplies that uh, uh, they have inside usually. It's branded IMAX RC B3. And um, not sure if IMAX is a good brand or if this one is a genuine product, but we'll take it apart before powering on. So I had to pause to take a closer look at this uh, PCB and what I found is uh, very interesting. So let's start from the left. They use um, probably a flyback uh, converter controller IC. They have this uh, transformer with, which has three individual outputs that are probably 5 volts I'm guessing. And then they have three of these uh, chips. They are TC4056. So they're not TP4056, they are TC4056. And I've googled for these and they seem to be an exact uh, pin match for the TP4056. And also they seem to have roughly the same specifications. They're just made by a different uh, Chinese manufacturer. So it's the um, uh, classical um, problem that people um, are used to ask on YouTube. How can I uh, uh, charge a 2S or 3S battery pack with the TP4056? And uh, the uh, usual suggestion, suggestion is to use um, isolated DC to DC converter. Well, that's what they're using in here, except those um, isolated converters are all on the same transformer. So three separate uh, windings for three separate outputs that go in through into three of these uh, charging circuits and you can charge a 3S or 2S battery pack like this. They do have um, uh, enough uh, clearance with um, even a slot drilled in the PCB. Uh, the capacitors are shitty as usual and on the input uh, we have a fuse, uh, two capacitors and a choke and that's about all the protection that you get. Uh, the uh, regulation is done with a simple Zener diode on the output, but that should be enough for uh, this purpose. The um, transformer looks to be very low cost, no double insulated wire, but uh, hey, for the, the price of this thing, I was expecting much worse. Uh, this whole uh, charger sells for about $5 on eBay, and uh, it should have uh, some functions like balancing cells, but I don't see how it could be it, how it could accomplish that with these uh, simple charging circuits. So um, let me know if you have any ideas on that. So in conclusion, they're not using a dedicated uh, 2S or 3S charging IC, but that is to be expected from um, from this kind of uh, chargers. Um, it does not use a microcontroller. It's all based on these um, TC4056. Uh, linear charging uh, ICs and um, I don't know should I recommend this over the uh, previous uh, model that I showed and was working over USB 
Well, this at least has the uh, dedicated charging uh, ICs with some functions that uh, should prolong the life of your lithium cells. But um, I don't know, this power supply is not really um, safe to use. So this, I wouldn't recommend this for, uh, for anyone. If you know what, uh, what it has inside and you take your precautions, you should be fine. But otherwise, I would not recommend the charger like this. It all depends on um, your level of knowledge. Next, I got myself a couple of these uh, so-called limit switches. These are basically switches soldered onto a PCB module with a nice uh, JST connector and probably some pull-up or pull-down resistor and an LED to signal the uh, switch closing possibly. I was thinking of uh, building an all-time classic project uh, circuit that is the automatic uh, blinds on uh, a window. So I got these uh, switches to maybe detect reaching the end of uh, travel. I was also thinking I could do that by using stepper motors and uh, I could be just counting the number of steps and those should be repeatable. There are also optical slot sensor that you could use for the same purpose. I'm not sure I'm actually going to build uh, the project anytime soon but I didn't have any of these um, mechanical switches for experimenting, so I ordered a couple. I also got this uh, small gear DC motor and I didn't realize how small it was from the pictures, but um, it's rated 3 to 6 volts DC input with uh, 40 RPM on the shaft. Uh, you can also find these with different gear ratios and different input voltages as well. I think this one would be too small for the task I was uh, planning with the automatic uh, blinds but there are plenty of other choices available on Banggood so it should be easy to find a motor that is the appropriate size, has the appropriate RPM and uh, torque. Let me show you how this one spins. So it, I find it interesting to watch that small gearbox working. I also got more of these uh, Kester No Clean Flux Pens. You've seen them before on my videos. I use them a lot for doing my soldering work and uh, I need to order a few of these every few months. These are obviously not uh, genuine Kester. First of all, by just looking at their exterior, they have very bad quality labels and uh, just low quality uh, plastic used on the casing. But you know what? This fake flux works just fine for my hobby projects, no need to go pro here. If you live in the uh, US or Canada, it might be easier and uh, less expensive to get Kester products or other uh, good known brand of uh, flux and uh, solder wire, but here in Romania it's just to them expensive to get the brand name flux, so I resort to this uh, eBay uh, stuff. Next up, also in the soldering department, I got some of these uh, syringes with needles. The pack I got has uh, three 10 milliliter plastic syringes and a bag full of needles with lots of uh, different sizes. You get thin ones, thick ones, uh, plastic and metal as well. This will work with any kind of uh, dispensing jobs, uh, solder paste, flux, adhesive, lubricants, basically any chemical you would use on the bench that will not react with uh, plastic can be dispensed with uh, this kit. A set like this costs about $5 or less with uh, free shipping and you can get them from eBay or Banggood. Links will be in the description below. I also ordered some uh, heat shrink tubing. I keep my uh, heat shrink tubing in a bag and here is my uh, uh, kind of old bag with all kinds of uh, sizes of heat shrink uh, tubing uh, and from time to time I need to refill certain sizes uh, or add in new ones. I like to have many different uh, sizes available because uh, anytime I work on a project I like to have nicely insulated terminals, no exposed wiring uh, that could cause a short circuit. I always hate it when I work on something and I don't have the required diameter heat shrink uh, tubing to cover that. So this time I got some uh, small diameters. Uh, this uh, blue one is uh, 85 millimeter width, 
should so this one should be a uh, nice for um, um, 18650 packs or lithium polymer battery packs these are sold in uh, many sizes and colors by the meter or in packs and kits you'll have to search for something that suits uh, your needs I will just put a general link in the description next I'll show a variety of uh, four millimeter banana jacks We'll start with uh, these ones. These are uh, dual 4mm banana jacks with 19mm uh, spacing between the two jacks. These are nice because you can um, connect two wires, positive and negative for example, and you plug them both at the same time. As you can see, I got two different uh, models for the actual uh, jacks, but that's okay, it doesn't uh, bother me. So in order to show you how this works, I will show you the next uh, binding post which also has um, standard 19 mm spacing so if you want to plug into one of these you just go like this no need to plug the individual uh, banana jacks these uh, speaker terminals are quite solid they seem like they could uh, handle uh, higher power going through them than your standard uh, 4 mm sockets I also got these uh, two 4mm banana sockets, though I can't seem to recall uh, where I got these from and I can't find them in my order history either. So uh, there won't be any link for this. I don't think they're that great anyway. Uh, you would think these uh, accept a shrouded 4mm banana jack, but they don't. They, ju they just have these, uh, this seam around the hole, but it's not a shrouded socket and uh, the seller also sent me both of these in red. I hate it when they do that because in 99% of the cases I need two different colors to signal positive and negative. And I also got these uh, uh, slim ones which I like a lot. When designing front panels often there is little room for placing the banana sockets uh, or you don't want them sticking out that much. So these are a nice model because they don't use that much space. I guess we could call these uh, slim 4mm sockets, although they weren't listed uh, like this. As we can see, in this case, the seller sent me uh, two red ones and six black ones. It was an 8-pack, so it will be a problem later after I've used the red ones. I just don't understand why they do this. Why not sell them in equal pairs, red and black? I think the idea for purchasing these came from uh, Steve Wagner's channel. He sometimes uh, does mailbag videos and I think I saw in one of his videos that he, he got something similar. There will be a link in the description for this and a link to uh, Steve's channel. I also got um, some of these M3 by 6 mm in length uh, screws. These are countersunk uh, type screws with head so hex socket. Uh, they are black and I think they're made of steel. There should be 100 uh, pieces in here in these two bags. These are good for anything. Sticking uh, transistors to heat sinks, attaching various things inside enclosures, anything really. And the hex socket just gives them a more premium look. And it's just easier to uh, buy them online. They're quite cheap and you can easily choose the type you want. Like in this case, I was able to select the length, the socket type, if it's countersunk or not. Um, what else? I was able to select the also the color I think so uh, I will put these into one of my um, screw organizer kit where they will await being used in uh, some project and the last item in today's video is this small metal keychain in the form of a wrench is uh, actually functional although not very smooth these are um, there are these uh, edges left from uh, molding or the casting process i'm not exactly sure how this is made which prevent this um, wheel from uh, spinning easily but nonetheless is uh, functional and i wanted to have one of these because well i think it's cool it was very cheap under uh, one dollar with uh, free shipping and uh, i just wanted to, to show you this maybe you find it uh, interesting as well and uh, you would like to get one that was all for today Thank you for watching these videos and for being a subscriber of uh, my channel. It really helps if you click the like button below the video and I will see you next time.